Welcome back to the New Equity Network show. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, co-host with me today, Jared Fabriello. All right, we're talking with Ron Davis, our funding specialist over at Merchant Banking Resources. And uh, they provide merchant cash advances from 25000 to $3 million in all 50 states. And they do it in record time. All right, Ron, welcome back to the show. Thanks for being here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, yeah. good. Well, you know, we were talking about a myriad of things. You know, your, your renewal rate, the difference between you and conventional uh, sources of funding for people's businesses, alone times. Now, if I could, I'd like to pull on your, your, your memory here for approval rates, examples, uh, and processes. Uh, but, you know, I think Jared had a question for you because the industry is changing. You guys are at the front runner of, uh, of a funding sector of the industry. And I, 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 Ron, or excuse me, Jared had a, had a question. I wanted to stop and let him get it out. Yeah, Ron, I was curious, you know, since you guys are in the industry and there's been a lot of controversy uh, lately, I think some of it led by President Obama around the whole cash flow lending industry. Where do you see the industry going from a regulatory perspective and uh, you know what do you see in the next 12 months here for your, your industry yeah you know what it's funny that you bring that up because uh, you know some of the things I've been talking you know some of my fellow colleagues and even even Mark McGuire himself um, one of the things that's definitely going to happen is regulation is coming and if we go back you know a few years ago to the you know the subprime lending um, era, you know, when mortgages was so easy to qualify for, and eventually when regulation came, and, and uh, a lot of companies, a lot of mortgage companies suffered, and even a lot of went out of business. You know, a lot of people who made their, their money uh, as loan officers now were required to get licensing, and they may not, you know, for whatever reason, now they can no longer, so a lot of things came, regulation came, and people missed out on great opportunities. You know, and just, you know, just for the, you know, uh, for the sake of information, uh, Mark McGuire, you know, who's also, you know, the, the CEO of our company, he also ran a mortgage company during that era and successfully survived the regulation when it came because he thought ahead. And that's the same thing that we're pretty much doing now with Merchant Bank and Resources. We're thinking ahead. Our company is already set up to be in total compliance with any regulations that may come. Some of the regulation that we may see, you know, it has more to do with the cost of capital, and the the the, per, uh, the positions, the multiple positions uh, that people are putting a lot of merchants in, you know. So now instead of having one cash advance, you know, a lot of merchants may have four or five cash advances. And I believe the regulation is definitely going to come in that uh, in that area. And where that's not our model. Our model is first position cash advances. We help companies grow. We are not in the business of loading. Merchants with debt, we are in the business of providing working capital solutions to help their firms grow. Um, so we're already in compliance. So any regulation, anything that comes down uh, uh, that comes down the pipeline here, we're, we're ready for it. Okay, good answer. All right, the, let's talk about some examples here because you'd mentioned that your approval rate is quick and it's easy, and you work with a variety of uh, a, a different types of companies. I know that franchises are very big, uh, and people who have inventory uh, is is very big. And so look, give us some examples of, you know, like hardships that have, you've turned into success stories on. Uh, let's start with the approval rate. Okay. Um, approval rate right now, we have an approval rate of, 95%. And let me tell you the reason why. Yeah, that's a that's a massive number here. Jared's, you know, about fell out of his chair on that one. <laughs> and, and I and I and I I've learned this from my personal experience even with some of the clients that I have uh, personally um uh that I've personally brought to the table. Um one of the things that we do um is once we have an initial decline you know, we have an underwriting department that's willing to take a closer look at the file to see if there's some other determining factors that may help us get over some of our initial underwriting guidelines that may, you know, that may cause the initial decline. Uh, I had a client, for example, um, he has terrible credit. You know, he has a 500 credit score. Uh, he has tax liens, uh, and, and I can't mention the company's name, of course, 
but he has tax liens that he's been paying on, but it's almost $70,000 a month coming out for tax liens uh, for this particular client. This particular client could not get financing anywhere else, not even, you know, from other cash investment as they were declining it. You know, once I brought them to the table um, over here, you know, at, at Merchant Banking Resources, uh, initially we declined them. <laughs> That's a great, but when we took a closer look, we interviewed the client, we talked about it, and we talked to, you know, the, um, the, uh, the tax assessment officer that was, that was handling um, his file, and, and we, we got a better idea, a general idea of what was going on with the company, and uh, we were able to get him an approval. It wasn't necessarily the approval that he wanted, but we got him an approval, and now he's become one of our clients. We're going to be working with him on a long-term basis. He shows us that he can perform and make those payments over the next few months. Guess what? His next approval amount will be even higher. So that's just one example of how we've been able to help people get beyond uh, barriers, even in the merchant cash advance industry. You know, it's one thing to have bad credit. It's one thing to have, you know, different issues that would normally decline you at a bank. But there's some, there's some clients that are getting declined by merchant cash advance companies. And we have been able to come in, take a second look at the file, you know, interview the client, and, and, and find a good reason uh, to fund that particular client. And they've been successful. And guess what? Our default rate uh, you know, is, is, is ridiculous as well. I believe in the last six years we may have had a handful of people default, and they, and they all end up paying eventually. So come in the industry, why? The default rate is 10%. You know, we're, we're probably at a 1% default rate, if that. You know, and the reason being is because people like our model. We are here to help. And when we're able to provide someone money that can't get money anywhere else, guess what? He's going to come back to us, and he's going to keep us at 80 to 84 percent renewal rate. Wow, that's that. Those are amazing statistics. All right, and I'm sure you can back them up. But Jared's got a question. No, no more questions. Yeah. No, I, I had a question about the default rate, but uh, Ron addressed that. That's uh, that's fascinating. Ninety five percent approval and only one percent default rate is pretty incredible. Yeah, it is. It's that's what separates you from everybody else. I, I mean, that that's amazing. What about an example of your process? Because that was a good example of the approval rate. People that are having trouble everywhere else, they've got massive uh, hurdles to go over, insurmountable in, in most cases. And then you you help them out. Talk to us about an example on your process. Okay, yeah. All right. So for the um, for the most part, you know, client reaches out to us. Um, on the initial interview, we, you know, we find out what type of revenue uh, the company's doing and ask a few questions to kind of pre-qualify them. Uh, after that, we send out a one-page application with the required docs. Once we receive the one-page application with the six-month bank statements, the business license, the photo ID, you know, and, and, and any other, you know, required documentation that we need to fully underwrite the file, once we have that in full possession, you know, typically we turn over an offer within 24 working hours. Wow. All right. And at the longest I've seen it take was 48. And if it's taking 48 hours, most likely it's because of the fact that the client maybe has, they have, they have multiple bank statements. They may, they may be doing, you know, we have some client that does well over $10 million a year. So, you know, imagine working, happy underwriters working through bank statements, you know, they're doing well over a million dollars a month and they have to look at all the transactions. So, I mean, those files may take a little longer, but on the long end, 48 hours. Typically, within 24 hours, we're having approvals go out. Um, and then from there, you know, the, um, once they accept it, and we send, we, you know, we're, we're a lot different from a lot of other lenders. We send the agreements directly. We are a direct lender. Uh, we send our agreements not through any brokers. We send it directly to the client. Client accepts the agreement, send it back to us, and we can fund in a matter of days from there. Well, we've we've got two minutes left on uh, on the interview, Ron. We've got to run, but before we go, I understand you know you're open to all kinds of businesses. You're specializing in franchise lo- franchise loans, and you know up from two hundred fifty thousand dollars per location to three million for for multiple locations. Is is that correct? I mean, that's that's really a a, a, a a complete change in, in what what your industry sector is doing. A- address that real quick so that we can close out, and I want to make sure you have uh, a contact info for the audience. Right, right. Yeah, um, most cash advance lenders, you know, as, as you've seen, you know, they're $250,000 max offers. You know, maybe, you know, best case scenario, maybe $500,000. We're going, I, and I've even seen someone that go up to $2 million. We're going as high as $3 million. We have clients that renew with us, for well over a million dollars at a time, 
You know, so um, this is, you know, it definitely sets the part because we actually have the maximum loan offer in the industry at $3 million. Good. Make me feel good about having the best in the business on the show. All right, we've got to run, Ron, but before we do, please contact info. Yes, um, contact info, Ron at merchantbankingresources.com. That's Ron at merchantbankingresources.com. Uh, and in closing, I just want to reiterate, we fund all types of businesses to specialize in franchise loans. You know, we're funding anywhere from 250000 and $3 million. Bad credit, not an issue. No corrado or required. No, use, uh, no restriction on the use of funds. We're here to serve you. Great. Thanks, Ron. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thanks for listening for to the uh, New Equity Network uh, show with Jared Fabriello and Michael Yorba. We'll be right back on the other side of this break with business inter- intermediary Andy Montgomery, uh, Marianne Montgomery of MontgomeryMurphy.com. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. 